If you've ever looked up your astrological sign and felt like the information doesn't fully reflect who you are. There's actually a reason for this. Astrology gets a little bit more complicated. So to learn more and make it easy to understand, we turn to astrologer Jim Ventura. First, let's learn about the trifecta, aka your sun, moon, and rising signs. Think of it as like when you enter into the world, there's a big snapshot of the sky. Here's where the moon was, this is where the sun was, this is where your rising sign was. And each of these are associated with one of the 12 astrological signs. So, when you look at this combination of rising sign, moon sign, and sun sign, you get a clearer picture of the primary things that make up a human being. So let's start with a sign we're familiar with already, our sun sign. When you look up your astrology in a column or newspaper, you're often going to come across your sun sign. So this is the sign that you can easily find by searching for your birthday on astrological websites. And it can give us a peek at your life purpose, your task, what is it you're meant to do. For example, if you're Virgo, you want to fix things, you want to solve things, you want to learn. If you're Libra, you want to charm, you want to compromise, you want to work with other people. These are sun sign attributes that become important to your life task. Next, let's talk about our moon sign. Your moon sign often can show you what we need. Jim's moon sign is Libra. So like, I need to get out in the world and chat with people or I start losing my marbles. Like, that's satiated. Finally, our rising sign. Think of your rising sign as like, this is the face you came into the world with. AKA our outward personalities. Jim, for example, has a Taurus rising sign, which is represented by the bull, so? The bullishness, the practicality, the reliability of Taurus ends up coming through. Jim says we may even physically resemble our signs. I'm Taurus rising so I look thick like bull. And while it's easy to find our sun sign online, to find all three, Jim recommends we Google free astrology birth charts. Plug in your date of birth, your time of birth, and location. Although the charts may look confusing, Jim says stick to your sun, moon, and rising signs, and you'll be able to flesh out a larger picture of who we actually are and what matters to us. Learning more about ourselves by peeling back the layers of astrology.